again to cooking with pants. I am Savannah Pants and today I'm going to be making a nutty cake. Last week we made double chocolate cook double chocolate cookies and in the suggestions Clayton suggested that sometime we should make a cheesecake. So Clayton make sure to be watching out for that in the future. Well, we're going to be making a nutty cake in honor of Pi Day. So, let's get started. To start off with, we get two cups of wonderful, wonderful flour. Is it? Ow! Is it? And then one cup of oh, brown sugar. That was not expected. And then you need one teaspoon of baking soda and baking powder, and then half a teaspoon of salt. And then we need to stir it. I don't know how, but you just try. Now we get one egg from your local store. Let's hope this one doesn't attack me. Like it did. Ah! Yoked on me. Oh! And not again! <laughs> These eggs must really hate me. You. Well, I'm gonna wash my hands real quick. Why must the eggs hate me? They hate me. Must always attack me and yoke me. Yoke me everywhere. Okay. Now we get one cup of milk at your local store too. Ew. And then we start to like mix it a little bit. Ew. Look at this. Ew. Now, I get one fourth of canola oil. It's gonna make it even look even more disgusting. Let's hope this one doesn't turn out to look like guts, like the cookies. Make sure to really mix, and of course it has to look like guts. Yeah. Smells good though. If you can say it smells good, that means it's going to turn out good. Make sure to get all the extra flour off the edges. That, now that we've got all that mixed and the batter should look like this, all wonderful. And so now we'll preheat the oven. That should be good. Okay. So that should be good. That should start preheating. And now we add the nuts. It's eight nuts. I mean, eight cups of nuts if you're a rodent. If you're not, like me, I'm a human, you add one cup. We didn't have any other types of nuts besides almonds, so just doing almonds. And then you mix it into your batter. Kind of like what you do with chocolate chips. Okay, instead of putting the flat, I'm not, not the flour. Instead of making the frosting first, we're gonna put the batter, oh, this is heavy. The batter in the pan. So, with the pan, with these type of pans, 
you gotta get this spray stuff. Gotta really spray it everywhere. This is okay. I think that's enough. <coughs> Don't breathe that in. And then we need flour, a little bit, a little more than that. That should be good. And then pour it in. And then just come over here, shake it up. Come over here next to the sink, cause. And just whack it like whack a mole. Okay, that should be good. Nice. And then, yeah, as we wait it slowly. Actually, hold on. Might actually reach into here. Where is it? And search for this. This will make it go a lot easier. I don't know how my mom does this. It's so heavy. Now that we got the batter in oven just beeped at me. We're now going to put it in the oven. Slide my oven mitts on. Open it until it's all hot, hot, hot. Just try to grab this with these oven mitts on. And then we slide it in. Slide it in. And then now that that's in, we put timer and for 50 minutes so now that that's cooking in the oven i'm going to clean up my workspace which would be easy and now we're going to work on the frosting now we're going to add two and three fourths of powdered powdered sugar Make sure it's all in there. And then we add six tablespoons of cocoa. Not again. All the cocoa smoke. And then we're just gonna light and we're just gonna mix it until it's like a nice brown. If you steam the my first video you're kind of going to see how the how the colors should kind of look like i've already got the butter in our second bowl and now we're going to cream it as i stab it, by the way the butter it's a six table tea, tablespoons of softened butter softened now we got to cream it Now that we got our butter creamed, we're going to add in our sugar mix. Just, just going to actually just go like that. We're making chocolate frosting, by the way. Chocolate. Homemade chocolate frosting. This is... So you wanna, if you're doing it in a big bowl into a small bowl, you wanna use a spoon to fish it out so it doesn't spill everywhere, you know? Okay, so now that we got had our sugar in there, we get five teaspoons of evaporated milk. And it's evaporated milk. Oh cool, it went in and then it tunneled out. And then I get our vanilla. Stay. And then one tablespoon. Blah. Mix 
extra vanilla because I like it. Okay, so put this up. And then we mix it until it's creamy and fluffy. <gasps> it's coming out! Okay, now that we got it off, all mixed, shh, it looked like this. Um, well, while we're waiting for the cakes to bake still, actually, it's nothing to do now. Just gotta wait for the cake to bake. I'll come back with you guys when the cake's baked and all done. So, it only has 19 minutes left anyway, so I'm gonna keep mixing it because I want it. The oven just beeped. So, here comes the cake. Ooh, it looks good. Mmm, looks really good. Can't wait to eat it. Okay, so. Now we just gotta let this cool for f about 15 minutes. I can click cancel on there. So now we got, just gotta let it cool. We got the cake out. It's warm still, but it's okay. It's all out, looking wonderful. I'm surprised it actually went poof. So now we shall frost it with our frosting machine. I've never actually frosted before. That's a way to frost it. It's melting. Well, we've got our cake frosted now. It's looking delicious. I hope you liked this video. I hope you liked it. Oh, I wish that you could like smell through the screen and go, it smells so good. And leave a comment below on what I should do next and how much you liked this episode. And leave a like, subscribe. Thanks for watching. Clinton, make sure to be, you'll be, you'll be, ex ah, come over here, get my egg, wait, not yet. Yeah, get in. I can start my own band with this. Okay, so now that we got powdered sugar in there.